The students and faculty of Pikeville Elementary are mourning the loss of a second grade student. The seven-year-old had fallen ill and was taken to UK for treatment. Superintendent David Trimble shares his thoughts about the tragedy. We learned of it over the weekend and um, uh, we, we knew uh, the impact that this would have on the kids who were going to be in the building as they walked in today. And um, Shung Man is, is a, an important part of our family. Um, he, he walked through our doors every day. And so we knew there was going to be an impact on kids when they, they came through the door. We spent some, a significant amount of time this weekend just trying to make sure when our, uh, our, our students entered back into the building on Monday today that they would um, that, that we would be able to work through that with them. We knew there would be a range of emotions. I'll be honest with you, um, I, the impact that Andrew has had on the kids of this building um, was something I don't, I don't know that I found a way to be prepared for. Uh, we did some activities this morning uh, to just help our kids reflect on their relationships with Andrew. And it's amazing to me um, just what kind of an impact a seven-year-old kid can have on this world. Everyone who knew Andrew had something positive to remember him by. While his family, friends, and teachers are processing this differently, he will surely be missed by those who were close to him. Every person grieves different. Every person works through something differently. And, and our, our faculty and staff equally hurt because this is a member of their family. But they have been very tough for our kids and they have assisted them in, in processing in the ways that they, they process. And it, while it looks different, I think it was important for us to, to make sure we had activities that allowed them to go in those different paths um, to, to work through this. I, I think that, that our, our consistent promise is always that we, we, will, we will love our kids and, and help them as they go through this process. This isn't a, a one-day process. Um, it, it will be uh, it will impact each of our kids differently, um, but we're going to help them through that. And our families are fantastic, and, and we've spoken with, with several of, of them and, and his classmates, and they have been fantastic to help kids through that too. And we just want our community to know that we're here to support them. Uh, we're here to support and love their kids, and, and uh, we have an, an amazing staff, uh, faculty and staff, who absolutely loves our kids, and uh, we want to do what we can to be of assistance to them. Uh, through what is a very difficult time and we absolutely love this family and we appreciate that every single day uh, they trusted us with their child and they, they shared him uh, with this building because he made this building a better place. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.